Some of the best deals I've done is when I overpaid for a great property. Because it was less for me to, to maintain it, and it started providing positive cash flow right away. Now, when I say affordable to acquire, people build anxiety in their life because they are trying to afford something they can't afford. So it creates right away a glitch in their head. It creates a, um, a frustration. If you want to buy and you can only afford maybe $200,000, then maybe team up with four other people that can afford two hundred dollars also, and then you can buy together a million dollar property. You understand my point? Because if you, with 200,000 purchase power, are trying to buy a million dollar property, all you end up doing is frustrating yourself and running a huge risk. Life is too short for that. That's, that's one of the misjudgment that people make. You want to know, unhappiness is when, when you are unhappy is when ability does not match ambition. So the ambition is up here and ability is down here. So their skill level is too low. But their want and their, their desire is too high. And they can't afford the training or they don't have the technology to be able to negotiate and build some structure that makes sense. They can't get it through. So that can make somebody very unhappy. Because they can't, they're too ambitious. Oh, I'd like to own this hotel. Well, you don't have the means, the ability, the resources, or the resourcefulness to buy this hotel. Maybe start with the Hampton Inn across the street. You see my point? Am I upsetting you? Because one of two things to be happier. You can lower your ambition, which I'm proposing, or you can increase your skill and ability level which I'm also proposing. So if you become more realistic and increase your ability, guess what ends up happening? Your outlook of the future becomes better and that immediately makes you happy. Because happiness is in direct relation with how you perceive the future to be. You understand the point? Somebody has a fight with his uh, spouse or her spouse. They perceive tomorrow is going to be a horrible day. They're not happy. They make up, everybody's fine, everything is good, they perceive the future is going to be better, they're happy. Same for real estate investing. How can I get a price that's going to make me afford it and make me have a better outlook for tomorrow and the day after? Price is very important. Affordable, time and expense wise, to get it to perform to highest and best use. One of the biggest problems I see my students do when they go into commercial real estate is they don't figure out in the price structure what it's going to take to fix the property and get it to perform. So they say, OK, look, Sharif, I can buy this property at 500000 Yeah, of course you're going to buy it at five hundred. It's worth a million fixed. So from five hundred to a million, it's going to cost 500000 to fix it. But it's not just five hundred to fix it. It's going to be the time is going to take to fix it. And the effort. So by the time you're done, it now costs you a million one. Because there is value of the time. 